Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And now, it's time! In this corner, we have the lightweight, swift, agile, most stump fit spikes on the market, Come in at 5.2 ounces, the Nike Superfly Elite 2. And in this corner, we have the new, highly requested, most hated, often imitated spike on the market. In at 5.7 ounces, the Nike Max Fly. Runners to your corners. On your marks. Set. What's good, what's good? Welcome back to another episode of Kingsley TV. My name is Aaron Kingsley Brown. And I post videos about the track and field experience in my life as a professional sprinter. So if you vibe with that, then consider hitting that subscribe button and joining me on the way to 10,000 subscribers. Today, we're ending the debate. What's the best sprint spike for 2022? As a Nike athlete, I'm obviously biased, but I believe they have the best products pound for pound on the market. The hottest topic in the sprinting world these days is the new airbag technology in these Max Flies. So today we're gonna decide if they live up to their price tag and they're worth their super shoe nickname, or if you're better off with a classic looking sprint spike like the Superfly Elite 2s. So by the end of this video, we're gonna rank these two spikes in various categories and declare a winner for best sprint spike of 2022 based on various categories. So make sure you keep it locked all the way through to the end. If you're interested in copying one of these spikes, I'll put purchase links down in the description box below. Now these are affiliate links, which means that no extra cost to you, I'll get a referral fee if you purchase through my links. So if you want to show your love and appreciation to the channel, that's one way to do it. Thanks. The other way is to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. All right, let's get into this battle. So the first category in this head-to-head -head battle is going to be performance. Above all else, what you care about most in your spikes is how they perform and if you're going to run fast. So let's start with the max flies. If you pay attention to the track and field world, you already know the deal with these spikes. Everybody swears by them. But I'm not 100% sold. Let me explain why. This airbag bubble that everybody goes crazy about makes it feel like you aren't even working. And without putting in a lot of effort, you feel like you're bouncing up and down the track. I feel like with the stiffness of this spike, you get a lot out of each step and they return a lot of the force that you put into the ground, which is what you want. On the turn, however, I can't seem to control these on the inside lanes and I have a bad habit of doing this fishtail technique that's decelerated. If you wanna know more about this fishtail technique, I described that in my Tokyo 2020 200 meter reaction video. So check that out if you wanna know more. Now, some runners love these spikes and can use them in everything they do. And they would give these 100 out of 10 if they could, but it's all about personal preference and this is my opinion. Everybody has their own style of running and you have to do what works for you. With that said, I give these Maxfly spikes a four out of five for performance. Now let's look at the Superfly Elite 2s. To me, these are one of the best performing spikes that Nike has put out in recent years, and I love the way these perform on the curve. Personally, I like these a lot better than the Max Flies in the turn because you can feel your feet and what you're doing underneath you better, which gives you a lot more control. Having control is essential in the critical part of the 200, which is the top of the turn transitioning onto the straight. My only complaint with these spikes when comparing them to the Max Flies, they do feel flat and like you have to put in more work in order to get the same return because they don't have an airbag to return the same force. But this is the way spikes have always been, and people have had had no issues over the years running fast times without the airbag. So with that said, I give these spikes a four and a half out of five in terms of performance. And so the winner of the head-to-head -head in terms of performance is the Superfly Elite 2s. So the second category is gonna be comfort. You wanna feel comfortable in your spikes when you're out there running, and they should feel like an extension of your feet. These Max Flies feel extremely comfortable and they feel like you're running on springy pillows and like you have a lot of pop when you're running. You don't feel the ground in these like you would with normal spikes. And while that may throw some people off performance-wise, these feel amazing on your feet because you don't feel all that force from striking the track. These Max Flies slide right on and the texture of these laces feel great when you lace them up. They feel amazing to sprint in. And with that said, I give these Max Flies a five out of five in terms of comfort. Now these Super Flies are really comfortable once you get them on and they really snug on your foot and almost feel like a sock spike the way they fit around your feet. 
However, these are very tight to get on and off because of the heel padding. And some people complain that these are too snug on their heels and the insert rubs on their heel. And when you compare these to the Max Flies, you feel like these are flat on the ground and you don't get the same support. Like I said in the performance category, you have to put in more work to get the same feedback. While I do like that I can feel the ground more and connect better to the track, I don't like that it feels like I'm pounding the track and I have to work harder to get the same results. With that said, I give these spikes a three out of five. And that means the winner of the comfort category is the Max Flies. The third category is gonna be style. Let's take it back to my office so we can compare all the colorways. So like I said to open the video, I feel like Nike has some of the best looking spikes on the market, with both the Max Flies and Super Flies being on point, each having some fire colorways. The Superfly Elite 2 is a more traditional looking spike. It has a pull tab on the front and the back of the spike, a mesh-like upper material they call Atom Knit that's nice and breathable for your feet. They have that classic hard Nike spike plate on the bottom of the spike that's shaped like a honeycomb. And they come in many colorways that are all fire in their own way. They've won with salmon pink and teal blue hits on the Nike swoosh and lace tips. They have an Olympic edition that's white with red and green accents. They have a new style in electric green and orange, which I unboxed in my Nike spring kit video. They have a fire all mango colorway. And my favorite is the black and green. Overall, the Nike Superfly Elite 2s are a great looking spike and they get a four and a half out of five for style. Now these Max Flies are a game changer. They look so futuristic with that new bubble technology, the Nike Zoom airbags with the translucent bottom. These spikes have come a long way with their development and I showed the evolution of this spike in my Nike fall kit video. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it right here. The Max Flies have the fly weave material for the upper of the spike, a big Nike swoosh down the side like the Superfly Elite 2s have, and they also come in gray colorways. You have your OG colorway in white and orange with the black Nike swoosh hits. They also have an Olympic edition just like the Superfly Elite 2s that's white with the red and green accents. But these have gold spike pins to really set them off. And then they have the new style for 2022 which is the electric green and orange, and you can see these in my Nike Spring Kit unboxing video. I've also seen some prototypes for the Max Flies in an all mango colorway at the Nike testing facility in Oregon. What's not to love about these Max Flies, man? The airbag has got all the other shoe companies going crazy, and these are a great spike to look at. That said, these get a perfect score of five out of five in terms of style. And that means the winner of the style category is the Max Flies. The fourth category is price. And this is an important one because sometimes it's not about what's the best spike available. Rather, it's about what spike you can afford. So for this category, it's not simply a matter of which spike is cheaper. Rather, it's about the value you get for your money. The Max Flies retail at $180 US, which is a pretty good deal for cutting edge technology. On the other hand, the Superfly Elite 2s retail for $150, which is also a good deal for a great performing spike. For some people, spending that extra $30 is gonna be worth it because you get that airbag technology. And if you're gonna perform better than them, that's probably where you should go. Me personally, I'll scoop up both these spikes if you could and test them both out so you can see which one fits your preference. But I understand not everyone's a Nike sponsored athlete. So if I had to pick between the two, I would give the edge to the Superfly Elite 2s because of what I said earlier in terms of performance. The gap between the Max Flies and the Superflies isn't great enough for me personally to spend the extra money. But if you do perform better than these Max Flies, I would definitely give these the edge. The Max Flies are a great value and I give these a four and a half out of five. And that's only because I'm only using these in the straightaway. If I was using these in the turn, then these would get a five out of five because I'm using them for all my races. On the other hand, the Superfly Elite 2s are a great spike for the value and these get a five out of five because you can use them in both 100 and the 200 and not lose out on much compared to the Max Flies. So that makes the winner of the pricing category the Superfly Elite 2s. And for the last category in this head-to-head, -head, we're gonna test durability. Let's take it back to the track. If you're gonna be shelling out your hard-earned cash on the best performing sprint spikes on the market, you wanna make sure they're gonna last and you get the most bang for your buck. As we know, the Max Flies are the most cutting edge technology on the market with their airbag bubble, but unfortunately they're a work in progress. Depending on how much force you put into the ground, you might pop the bubble. I'm more of a finesse runner with my style of running, and I switch back and forth between the Max Flies and the Superfly Elite, so I haven't popped any myself, but several of my teammates have. Some of my teammates have even cracked the bottom of the carbon fiber spike plate, so with that said, I have to give these Max Flies a three out of five in terms of durability. On the flip side, these Superfly Elite 2s can go the distance, and I've had no issues with these thus far, other than the odor from my stinky bare feet or the pins getting dull, which can be swapped out. The durability on these Superfly Elite 2s is top notch, and they get the Ironman status, which means they get a perfect score of five out of five for the durability test. So in light of all this, the winner of the durability test is the Superfly Elite 2s. So after reviewing both these spikes, let's add up all the scores and declare a winner of best sprint spike for 2022. The Max Flies won two categories in style and comfort and received a total score of 21 and a half out of 25. The Superfly Elite 2s won three categories for performance, durability, and price, and they received a total score of 22 out of 25. And that means the winner of the head-to-head -head for best sprint spike for 2022 is the Superfly Elite 2s by Aline at the line.
But that comes with a big caveat. I still feel like it's worth it to give these Max 5s a try to see if they work for you. They could be a game changer for you and make you go fast, which would make these the clear choice. Remember, this is my personal opinion of what works for me. I love both these spikes and I'll be using both in my 2022 season. The Max 5s and the 100 on the straightaway, but for that 200, my primary event, I'll be using the Superfly Elite 2s all day long. It's also worth mentioning that I went to the Nike headquarters earlier this year and gave them this exact same feedback. They let me know that they're working on a Max Fly spike with support on the outside of the spike. If they successfully pull that off and are able to stabilize you in the turn, I'll switch these Max Flies full time. So I hope that answers the question that one of my subscribers asked in terms of which is the better spike. Both these options are a great option and you can really do no wrong. If you want to cop one of these spikes, I left purchase links down in the description box below, but hurry and cop quick because sizing is limited and these have been constantly selling out fast. If you want to see more of these type of videos, click this playlist here for more Nike product reviews or this video here that YouTube recommends. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel to join me on the way to 10,000 subscribers. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.